Welcome back to the 6SQ7 EL34 build series. I know it's been a long time since we really started first talking about this. And since that time, I've come up with some better measuring gear and stuff so I can really show you what this amp's all about. And I'm still going to move forward with this because I think this is a fantastic little amplifier. It's got a small footprint. It uses really low cost tubes. It's got a really great sound. The output transformers aren't real expensive. I think they're like 50 bucks a piece. I mean, you just can't beat the quality that you're going to get out of this for the money that's spent. I did talk more about like where I'm thinking Skunky Designs is going as far as a company or you know what we're trying to do in the Monday monologue that we posted earlier today so I'm not going to repeat all of that other than you know don't think we're going to be building these for sale as a completed unit but I do think that kits make sense especially with no iron I learned from the buggy range shipping that amplifier back when I was done to the generous user who drop shipped it to me to use as a guinea pig, they ended up costing me over $100 to do that amp for this channel. And I just can't afford to absorb costs like that on an ongoing basis. I felt bad because I didn't research the shipping costs before I agreed to doing that, so I split a lot of the cost of that with the, with the user. And so, anyway... I think, too, people would balk at what it would cost for me to ship like this amplifier in kit form with all the iron, depending on where they live in the country. It could be 60 to $80 just in shipping. And I don't think people are going to be willing to pay that or you know, at least are going to feel good about it. They're going to feel like they're getting ripped off. But it's just that's what it costs to ship stuff that's heavy nowadays. The other thing is there's a super long lead time on these Ed Core transformers, and I don't want people to be making orders with me, and then two months later, I'm still waiting on the transformers, and then going, where are my trans, you know, where's my kid? I ordered this thing months ago. So I think it makes more sense to do more of a fabricated chassis with all the passives that are easy to get from Mauser, and maybe some of these eBay supplied, uh, speaker jacks and RCA jacks. I can stock up on some of that stuff and you know put up put it all together and so you get everything in one box and then all you have to do is get a power transformer, this choke, the output transformers that you want to use, and then your tubes. So that's the direction I think we're going to be going with this and something that I feel comfortable of being doable. Again, being a customized thing, it still might take a, a couple of weeks between your order to where it gets shipped out because I'll be at least at first hand fabricating these chassis. And later I may see if there's a fab shop locally that could do this fab work if there's enough interest in this product or this kit. But we'll see how that goes. The other thing that I want to do is have it kind of menu-based where you can click off things like um, I want to drill the holes for the output transformer and the power transformer myself, which is some pretty easy things to do, but you might have a slightly different transformer you want to use, or like you might want to use this lay-down style instead of this stand-up, which is what the standard one is going to be, or you may want... You know, you may decide, hey, I want to do the extra filtration with the extra choke that bolts on the side. And so I'll need to drill holes for that. So, you know, and charge you for that choke. And so, there, you know, there may be some different little upgrade things. And I may make the little dress-up kit separate where, you know, the, the basic kit doesn't come with the knob and these little tube rings. And it doesn't come with the little fancy dress-up badge on the front. You know, that might save you, I had, I'll have to sit and figure it out, it might be $50, $70, something like that, cheaper, not to include all these little dress-up items. And then you can you can make it look the way you want to instead of, you know, the way that I want it to. And so you can personalize it. 
But one thing I do want to make clear about this amplifier, if you're looking for like super low distortion up to the max of what an EL34 tube can make, that's not this amplifier. It's pretty clean up to a little over a watt and then even up to three, three, four watts, it's, it's not bad at all. And it's very musical and it's very linear and it sounds really, really nice. I mean, there's some magic going on between this 6SQ72, this EL34, and these Edcore output transformers. And I've tried like some KT77s and some, you know, some of the other tubes that'll plug in place of an EL34. This amp likes EL34s. And it, these 6SQ7s work with them. These are some old tubes that haven't been made since the 1950s. And so they weren't made with low distortion in mind. They were designed to use in AM radios. And so when you start pushing them hard, they start dis distorting. And so it's not going to drive these EL34s super clean up to their max wattage. If you want to do that, there's plenty of schematics out there for some 12AX7s, those, you know, more modern driver tubes that are commonly available. But when I saw how linear these tubes were, I wanted to build an amp with them. And I was not disappointed, and you won't be either. So if you've got some efficient speakers, and you know you're going to be hunting around 2 to 3 watt range, and you've got speakers that are like 40 to 20k hertz, like my eclipses are, you know, some little bookshelf speakers, because these, these output transformers, they're not going to crank down to 20 hertz and just boom in bass. They're not going to do it. And so, like I said in another video, know what you're looking for before you buy it, and hopefully this may just be what you need to really be perfect fit for your system. So again, please research, know what you need before you decide to build one of these or buy one of these kits. So I'm fixing to show you, since I started this series, I bought the Analog Discovery 2 with the Audio Analyzer Suite. So now I can run some tests on this thing. I know with my analog scope that it was putting out 20 volts peak to peak before it starts clipping, which is six watts. But you'll see on the audio analyzer suite that even before clipping, there's some distortion, which I believe is coming from, you know, just the design of these tubes. But it still sounds so good. I just, this is one of those times where it may not look great on paper, but I trust my ears. And my ears are telling me this is a sweet sounding amp. So let me jump over, connect it to the Analog Discovery 2 and show you what kind of numbers it pulls running through their diagnostic suite. Okay, so we've got my personal amp hooked up to the audio analyzer suite with the Analog Discovery 2, and we're going to do a THD versus power pull on it and see what it looks like. And you can see it pretty Low wattages, very low distortion. It's coming up to one watt. We cross over one percent at about one and a half watts. Two percent, we're at about three watts. And right here, we're at almost four watts as we're crossing two percent. Three percent, we're right at five watts. And here's where it starts hard clipping on the my analog scope at 6 watts and we're at 4% distortion. Down here at 1% we're making 2 watts. So clearly if you're needing 2 to 3 watts of power you're going to be under 2% distortion and this amp just really sounds sweet as long as you're not needing like over 5 watts of power. So Let's look at the frequency response. We're going to set this on a half a volt. 
and make a pull. As expected, with transformers this small down at 20 hertz, we've got a little roll off. By 40 hertz, it's totally flat and just a tiny bit of roll off on the top end, which not surprising and not really concerned about. This is such a small amount up to 20 hertz. From here to here, that's just almost nothing. And obviously down here at 20 hertz, there's a little bit of roll off. But by 30 hertz, it's pretty much where it's going to be. And my Clips RP600Ms pick up about 40 hertz. And by then, this thing's flat. Probably why it sounds so awesome on my system. The last thing we're going to do is a THD versus frequency. And we're going to make the pull at 1 watt. I'm expecting to see some distortion down on the low end, especially with transformers this small. And yep, about 10%. But as we come up to 40 hertz where my speakers start reproducing, we're down to 3% and slowly dropping. I'm expecting this thing to, a little past 100 hertz to be down at 1%. And it crosses under 1% at 180 hertz. So once we get past 180 hertz, and from there up to the end of the frequency range, totally under 1%, I'm not shocked. We have a little distortion on the very low frequencies with this small output transformer. But again, having a little distortion down in the low bass notes isn't something you're probably going to hear. So again, THD versus power. We're right here at, as we cross 2%, we're at 3.5 watts, 4 watts, depending on which channel you're looking at. And then here on the upper end, 6 watts, we're at 4%. And it crosses 1% right at 2 watts. And the frequency response is as flat as any of the amps I've tested. So... Let's close this part of the video and finish this thing up. So as you can see on paper and on the analog discovery, this thing isn't perfection. And if that's what you're looking for, hey, maybe you want to use a solid state amp or some other kind of EL34 amp. If you don't have very efficient speakers and you're going to have to push this thing for six watts, this probably isn't the amp you want to use either. But if you've got efficient speakers that work really well from 40 to 20K, this thing really sounds great. There's some kind of magic going on between these 6SQ7s and these EL34s and these EdCore output transformers. This thing's just really musical and sounds great when it's in my system. If you do need more power, probably going to need a cleaner front end that you can really push these EL34s to the 6 watts or so. Or build something like that 300B amp that does put out more power with less distortion. But if you're looking to be in the 2 to 3 watt range... I think this amp could be a great bargain and is simple to build, cheap to maintain, and just has a great sound quality. Again, we're talking about $15 to $20 tubes instead of $200 tubes like a 300B has. And just the heat that this thing puts out is not excessive. It's just got a lot going for it. Small footprint. I really love this amp. So anyway, the one we're going to be building, we're going to be using this stand-up transformer that makes fabrication easier, gives you more room to work inside. I think it's just going to be easier to build. Once we get done with this, we're going to start on this probably this week, uh, uh, fabricating and getting this thing ready to build. Once I get everything figured out, so it's kind of a cookie-cutter thing, we'll 
start looking at what the kits are going to look like and when they might be available. Again, they're going to be a special order kind of thing that might take a couple of weeks because at the first, at least, I'm going to be hand fabbing the chassis and having to get the parts all together. Of course, it'll be a little more expensive than if you buy everything yourself and do all the fab work yourself. But being able to get all the parts and everything minus the transformers and the tubes all in one package without having to go to Mauser and pick out all the parts and all that stuff will be a huge time saver as well. And you know you're getting the parts that I know work well together. So anyway, I'm excited to get this on the road. I think this is a viable direction for me to work with you guys to try to help you all build these things. And... If you like the channel, please subscribe, please like the video, and we'll see you soon for more 6SQ7 fun. Have a great day!